Hey cloud developers, my name is Grant. And my name is Vinny. And we're here to get you started using Google Cloud Functions. Google Cloud Functions makes it easy to run and scale your code in the cloud that listens and responds to events. The Functions framework lets you write lightweight functions that run in many environments, including Cloud Functions, your local development machine, Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE, and Knative-based environments. The library is open source on GitHub, and the Functions framework is used in production by Google Cloud Functions. So Grant, what is the Functions framework? The Functions framework defines an interface for building modular services. This means that rather than emulating how your function will run in production, you can see exactly how your code will perform when testing it on your local machine. The Functions framework is also Knative compatible, sporting Knative eventing, which makes it possible to port your functions between Knative environments. Specifically, the Functions framework defines a port for specifying HTTP functions, a target name for the function, and then lastly, a signature type, either HTTP or event, for the type of event. The functions framework can be used in two ways, either as a CLI, a command line script that you run in your terminal to start the function server, used for, for local testing, or as a library, a dependency for your application. This is useful for staging a production Google Cloud Functions environment on your machine. You can specify an explicit dependency on a version of the functions framework, and if you don't specify a version, Google Cloud Functions will automatically choose the latest functions framework. Now let's look at that open source framework for Node. It's used in production for Google Cloud Functions running Node 10. Within the package, the module uses Express. Express is a fast, unopinionated, minimalistic web framework for Node.js that makes developing services a breeze. It's a project of the Node.js Foundation, and it's used by the Functions Framework. Let's get started with the Functions Framework for Node.js. Let's first run the command npm install at google-cloud slash functions framework. This will create a package.json in your current directory. Create an index.js file with the following contents. So what are we doing here? Well, we're exporting a function called hello world. The function accepts two parameters, rec for the express request object and res for the express response object. Next, we're sending the string hello world in the response. To start the server, run the following command, npx at Google Cloud slash functions framework, open localhost in your browser and see hello world. Awesome. So you got your function running on your computer, but how do you get it running in production, like get a real URL? Good point, Vinny. Uh, since the Functions Framework is the same library that runs Google Cloud Functions, we can deploy our same Node application with no modifications. So let's deploy the code to Google Cloud Functions. Using gcloud in our directory with our function, we can call gcloud functions deploy, specifying our function name, trigger with HTTP and using node 10. After a bit, we'll get a live URL. If I copy the URL and paste it into my web browser, I'll invoke my function. But where did our console.log statements go? Vinny? Well, on my machine, I'll see the logs in the terminal where I ran the function, but in the cloud, I'll see them on Stackdriver. This is because Google Cloud Functions has an integration with Stackdriver where logs written to standard out or standard error will appear directly in Cloud Console. And that's the Google Cloud Functions Framework. To learn more about the Functions Framework, check it out on GitHub. We have some useful guides on how to do things like how to deploy to Cloud Run, using TypeScript, using the Node Debugger, etc. The link to the GitHub repo is in the description below. And be sure to subscribe right here on the Google Cloud Platform channel on YouTube to get notified of new videos about Cloud Functions. We'll see you here next time.